Hello, today we're going to learn how to do basic web scraping using Python. So I have my text uh, editor open here. I am using Knopfi for the time being. And I also have a web browser open just to make sure you know how to do it concurrently. Okay, so this is a code that you can probably find on my website. You can download it from there. And for the initial parts, what I want to do is that you need to import what we call a URL library. The next part, you need to import a um, RE, which is a regular expression. You can consider that as a parser. And the next part is I, I like to download the time, so just to make sure I give a timestamp and when I made those uh, web scrapings. Okay. So first of all, what we're going to do is that we're going to go over to Best Buy sites and try to get some prices for Samsung televisions. Okay. So what you will probably do is that you notice that there is a URL here. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to copy and see what I would like to get um, as my web scraping. Okay, So I'm going to copy this and paste it here on my web browser. And if I hit open, so this is the information that I get from my web browser. Okay, So like I said, for now, we're going to try to see and how to get the price information. And it seems that this price right here, $15.99, is the price that we would like to get. Okay, So using my URL library, I'm going to open the URL using the website's um, name. Okay, And I'm going to call that HTML file. And with that HTML file, I'm going to read, use the read function in order to read in the text. Okay. Once I read in that text, I'm going to get a regular expression. And what that regular expression is, is doing is that I'm trying to find where I have the 1599.99. So that is, it seems that this is the location where I could be, I am able to find the 1599 if I look at the source code. Okay, so that is, if I look at this source code here, so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to view my source code, okay, so that is I'm going to view source code, and there's this is the HTML file that it has been opening up, okay, and if I do a search on it, and if I were to search this part, I tried to copy and paste here, I'm going to copy, and paste and it seems that yes this is the location where I can find the 1599 okay so yes um, you will notice that that's my regular expression and following the content equal I'm gonna put the parenthesis dot plus and e equation and have that as a with an ending parenthesis and it seems that that's the location where I have the 1599 Okay, so what this is going to do is that it's going to capture wherever it sees this message and also going to capture whatever is behind the content dot equals to. Okay, once that is captured, I'm going to put that into a compile and then put that as a pattern. And it seems that this is going to be an HTML text. I'm going to call that as price one and I'm going to print this. Okay. So let me show you how this is going to work. So if I were to run all this, okay, then you would be noticing that yes, uh, well, it's actually run the whole the whole code, not just the the ones that I highlighted. But you can see that it's getting the fifteen ninety nine, and that's where you will probably notice that where regex is um, acquired. Okay. So yes, you will probably notice that it actually gets a little bit more um, information than just the 1599. It, uh, the next part that you would be probably be interested in that is the um, ratings by the consumers. So that is, if 4.8 is the rating by the consumers that where you would like to find, in that case, my second part is what it's doing is that it's trying to locate where it has the 4.8, okay? So that is, I'm going to probably go over here and I'm going to search 4.8 first, okay? 
And it seems that, yes, this is where I could see the 4.8. It has multiple locations, but I'm going to use this location right here where it has 4.8 out, out of 5 stars. Okay, And where it is enclosed it is, is where it has the span class average score, um, ARIA rating label, label and rating um, 4.8 out of um, 5 stars. Okay. So that's what I co uh, copied here. So it, it, right here, I copied where it has span class, average score, area label, rating is equal to, and remember, again, it's parentheses, open parentheses, dot, plus, question mark, or close parentheses, and that's the information you have the 4.8, okay? And I'm going to call that this time regex2. I'm going to compile that again. I'm going to put it as a text and put that in, I'm gonna name it star this time. And if I hit print, I would probably get the same information, okay? So if I were to uh, run this again, you will probably be noticing that, yes, again, I have a timestamp, I'm getting the price, which is $15.99, and I'm also getting the 4.8 stars. And you can probably do your practice on yourself um, with a different type of a product, this time I used a 55 inch, uh, besides the, uh, the first time I used a 65 inch, but you will probably notice that this is how you would probably get your basic web scrapings. Okay, um, hope you enjoyed this video, and yes, you can probably work on your own and try to web scrape information using Python. Thank you.